We're very close to starting. If I could have you take your seats and everyone please silence your cell phones in preparation of the bell ringing ceremony. In honor of our valedictorian, in recognition of our salutatorian, at the conclusion of our ceremony, graduates are instructed to meet with families in the courtyard outside.
this time, we would ask everyone to please rise, remove your caps, and join with me in the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Bushnell Prairie City High School class of 2023. I'm Jerry Butcher, principal of Bushnell Prairie City High School, and I am honored to have the privilege of opening this ceremony today. I would like to begin by introducing members of our Board of Education seated to my right, Mr. John McCleary, President of the Board, our Vice President, Jonathan Miller, members Holly Spangler, and Alan Thompson. Also seated to my right is elementary principal Donna Daly, assistant superintendent and interim junior high principal Bob Gound, and our superintendent Dr. Kathy Dinger. To my left and dispersed about the crowd are some of the teachers and staff who helped make this day possible. Mr. David Arnold, Mrs. Melissa Reed, Mrs. Samantha Sherwood, Ms. Mackenzie Rico, Ms. Hannah Edwards, Ms. Amy McGowan, Mr. Jake Johnson, Ms. Kim Wrench, Ms. Lauren Settles, Mrs. Shanti Willie, Mr. Stephen Sargent, Mrs. Sheena Bowden, Mr. Andrew Kleesner, Mr. Andrew Rodifer, Mr. James Melvin, Mr. Jacob Schisler, Mrs. Stacy Allen, Mr. Wade Bowman, Mr. Nate Zeringer, Mr. John Draws, Mrs. Jennifer Robertson, Mrs. Kathy Torrance, Mrs. Rebecca Duco, Mr. Jones, and Mrs. Becky Buker. Last but certainly not least, I want to thank all parents, family members, and friends for their love, support, and patience during the journey our students have traveled in order to get to this point in their lives. Thank you to Dwayne Hewlett for streaming and recording today's commencement ceremony for those who are not able to join us today. The recording can be found on his YouTube channel, Hewlett Publa Pro. Graduates, it's been an honor for me to serve as your principal these past two years, two and a half years, and I am thankful for so many things. Thank you for being respectful and kind. Thank you for making me laugh. Thank you for making it fun to come to work every day. Thank you for getting me back out there and making me an account on Tinder. It's really boosted my self-esteem. <laughs> if you see me, swipe right. <laughs> With that, I wish you a lifetime of success, happiness, and dreams come true. You will be missed. And I will never forget this class. Finally, it is my honor to introduce the honor graduates, to recognize our students' excellent academic performance, dedication, and memberships while enrolled at Bushnell Prairie City High School. Honor graduates have been awarded with cords from their prestigious organization. There are three different kinds of cords our graduates are adorned with today. FFA members are denoted by yellow and blue cords, and National Honor Society members are donated by blue cords. The following students of the class of 2023 have earned a grade point average of 3.0 or higher and are designated as honor graduates by the gold cords they are wearing. Please stand upon hearing your name and remain standing until all names have been called. Please save your applause for the end. Cora Golage, Kylie Norris, Paco Galenardia, Janet Lentini, Elizabeth Souter, Avery Golage, Aaron Jackson, Leah Sargent, Nathan Spangler, Jill Miller, Elizabeth Gilfillan, Peyton Bowman, Ben Powell, Sean Link, Jaitlin Sickles, Jaden Chenoweth, Carter Alleman, Lucas Buck, Natalie Slater, 
Alexandra Bruchetta, Peyton Mason, Ezra Mason, Dalton Strode, Peyton Cameron, Tarek Hopping. Please give these students a round of applause. You may be seated. At this time, I would ask Mr. Gound and Ms. Daly to come to the podium and present our top 10. The students we are about to recognize have the top 10 GPAs of the graduating class of 2023. These students have been involved in virtually every student organization we have here at Bushnell Prairie City High School. They have given unselfishly of their time and talents, and they have shown the way academically. Please come forward and receive your medallions from Dr. Dinger as your name is called. Elizabeth Gilfellen, daughter of Patrick and Melissa Gilfellen. Elizabeth participated in basketball, volleyball, track, FCA, and varsity club. Elizabeth's awards include Outstanding Academic Excellence and the Academic All-Conference Award. Elizabeth's future plans include attending Spoon River College to play volleyball while majoring in small business management. Avery Gulledge, daughter of Jason and Peggy Gulledge. Avery has participated in cross country, varsity club, FCS, Scholastic Bowl, band, FFA, and National Honor Society. Avery's awards include the cross country Spartans Pride Award FFA's Green Hand Award, Chapter Star Ag Placement, and Nursery Operation Proficiency Award, the Jerry A. Merrick Scholarship, A. Gilbert Bellis Scholarship, the Walter and Doris Beers Scholarship, Academic All-Conference Award, and the President's Award for Academic Success. Avery has held the offices of Class Treasurer and National Honor Society Treasurer. Avery's future plans include attending Western Illinois University to major in speech speech pathology. Cora Gulledge, daughter of Jason and Peggy Gulledge. Cora has participated in softball, scholastic bowl, band, FCA, and National Honor Society. Cora's awards include Illinois State Scholar, John Philip Souza Award, Presidential Award, Walter Beers Scholarship, Richard Scott Scholarship, Raritan State Bank Scholarship, and the McDonough County Republican Women's Scholarship. Cora has held the office of Senior Class President and NHS Secretary. Cora's future plans include attending Southern Illinois University of Carbondale to major in physiology with a minor in chemistry. Erin Jackson, daughter of Andy and Pam Jackson. For all four years of high school, Erin has participated in choir, volleyball, softball, and varsity club. Erin has also participated in basketball, drama club, student council, interact club, and national honor society. Erin's awards include volleyball MVP, two years running, Prairie Land All Academic Conference, four Division I IHSA Choir Conference medals, Carl Sandburg College's Dean List, English Department Scholar, Music Director's Choice Award, Presidential Academic Honors, Spartan Spirit Award, First Team All-Conference Softball, and Second Team All-Conference Volleyball. Aaron has held the offices of class representative for two years, volleyball team captain for three years, and softball team captain for two years. Aaron's future plans include attending Carl Sandburg College to play volleyball and softball while she majors in music education. Janet Lentini, daughter of Antonio and Gianna Maria Lentini. For all four years of high school, Janet has participated in softball, volleyball, and band. Janet has been a member of the varsity club for three years. For two years, she participated in book club, interact club, and student council. And she was in National Honor Society for one year. Janet's awards include student council member of the year, Historical Achievement Award, Second Team All-Conference for Softball, Lucy Bennett Scholarship, Sons of the American Revolution Scholarship, Top Honor Roll, 
Christina Hornbaker Award, Presidential Award, Academic All-Conference Award, Part-Time Dean's List for Carl Sandburg College. Janet held the Office of Student Council Representative for two years. Janet's future plans include attending Knox College to make major in secondary English education to teach at that level before earning her master's and doctoral degrees with a final goal of becoming a superintendent. We'll hope for the best here. Jillian Miller, daughter of Jonathan and Crystal Miller and the late Tara Miller. <clears throat> Jill participated in basketball, softball, National, so <clears throat> National Honor Society of High School Scholars, FCA, and Varsity Club. Jill's awards include the Karen Vestig School Spirit Award, Prairie Land Conference Academic All-Conference Award, and the President's Outstanding Academic Excellence Award. Jill's future plans include attending Western Illinois University to major in psychology and to become a guidance counselor at the secondary or college level. Kylie Norris, daughter of Robert Norris and Phyllis McClough. For all four years of high school, Kylie participated in band, cross country, track, basketball, FCA, Interact Club, Student Council, National Honor Society, and Varsity Club. Kylie's awards include the DAR Citizenship Award, FCA and Canton Kiwani's All-Star Basketball Team, Two Sport Athlete Award, Dean's List Full-Time Student, DARE Role Model, Prairie Land All-Conference Team for Basketball, and Track Two Years Running. Kylie held the offices of Student Council President, Basketball Team Captain, and Track Team Captain. Kylie's future plans include attending Western Illinois University to major in Exercise Science and Pre-Physical Therapy. Leah Sargent daughter of Stephen and Michelle Sargent. For all four years of high school, <clears throat> excuse me, Leah has participated in band, Interact Club, FCA, and FFA. For two years, Leah participated in National Honor Society, Student Council, and Book Club. She also participated in golf and the Walnut Grove United Methodist Youth Group. Leah's awards include top honor roll for four consecutive years, women's golf most spirited and most improved awards, Illinois State Degree Recipient, FFA Section 11 Ag Ed Contest Winner, District 3 Ag Ed Contest Winner, Illinois State Ag Ed Contest Finalized, FFA Section 11 Goat Production Winner, Section 11 Vegetable Pro Production Winner, Student Athlete Award, and the Presidential Award. Leah has held the offices of BPC FFA's President and Secretary, NHS President, class secretary for four years, and FFA Section 11 secretary. Leah's future plans include attending Lincoln Land Community College to major in precision agriculture and work with technology in the agricultural industry. Nathan Spangler, son of John and Holly Spangler. Nathan has participated in band, National Honor Society, Student Council, FCA, McDonough County CEO, Czech Row Volunteers 4-H Club, FFA, Illinois Junior Simmental Association and the Illinois Beef Association. Nathan's American Junior Simmental Association awards include the Bronze Merit Recipient and Junior Leadership Award. And his FFA awards include Illinois State Record Book Winner in the area of Diversified Crop Production, Entrepreneurship, and Illinois Star Farmer Finalist. Nathan has held the offices of FFA Chapter Sentinel FFA Chapter Vice President, FFA Section 11 Sentinel, Student Council Representative, 4-H Club Vice President, and 4-H Club President. Nathan's future plans include attending Parkland College and the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana, where he will major in Engineering, Technology, and Management for Agricultural Systems with a concentration in Digital and Precision Agriculture. Elizabeth Souter, daughter of Andy, and April Souter. For all four years of high school, Elizabeth has participated in volleyball, basketball, softball, band, FFA, FCA, Interact Club, 4-H, Junior American Legion, and Corn Husking. Elizabeth has also participated in student council for three years, varsity club for two years, and in NHS for one year. 
Elizabeth's awards include first place in post 1422 division of the Voice of Democracy essay and second place in district part-time dean's list. Top honor roll, presidential award, Prairie Land Conference Academic All-Conference Award, Raymond Fahey Scholarship, Walter H. and Doris Ann Beers Career Program Scholarship, Order of Eastern Star and the American Legion's Legion Award. Elizabeth held the office of class president for three years, class vice president for one year, interact president, interact secretary, secretary, student council secretary, and varsity club student council representative. Elizabeth's future plans include attending Western Illinois University to major in early childhood ed education with the intention of becoming a kindergarten teacher. Please congratulate one more time your top 10. <laughs> top 10, you may be seated. It's come to the time in our program where we're gonna recognize our salutatorian and our valedictorian, and they're gonna give their speeches. I wanted to give a quick explanation. You'll notice that it's not in your program who's a valedictorian salutatorian. It was a very close race between two young ladies, Kylie Norris and Cora Gulledge. And uh, we were at the mercy of their college courses, which did not have to have their grades out until tomorrow. So we told them we really kind of needed to know before tomorrow. So they worked with us and finally last Wednesday we were able to get final grades and we were able to figure that out. The, the blessing of traversing this journey was getting to know their parents and a little bit of history. So your salutatorian and senior class president that will be coming up here in a second is Miss Cora Golage. Her mother is Peggy Golage, who was also senior class president and salutatorian of her class. Cora is first cousins with Kylie Norris and their parents, their mothers, are sisters. Phyllis was also student council president of her class and valedictorian of her class, both of which graduated from Bushnell Prairie City High. At this time, please uh, put your hands together for our salutatorian and senior class president, Ms. Cora Golage. What a ride it's been a day we never thought would come, graduation. Yet here we are, sitting here among our classmates, teachers, and community. It's hard to believe this day has even come. After watching the classes before us do the same, we're finally in their shoes. Here we are, sitting in these blue and white gowns, walking across the gym floor to receive our diplomas. How can this even be real? I remember being in elementary, counting down the years left until graduation, hoping they would come quicker. Well, they did. When people say time flies, they really mean it. It feels like just yesterday when we were having Halloween parties, penny carnivals, book fairs, and recess. Back in the days when it wasn't uncommon to see someone getting chased down the hallway, kids biting each other, and kids bop blasting in the lunchroom. Where has it all gone? Can someone please press pause? After elementary school, we moved on to junior high. We were finally moving up in the world, sixth grade. Back in the days, when the girls were taller and had deeper voices than the boys. <laughs> Just like in elementary, we had some pretty memorable, memorable moments. From the toilet pipe bursting and soaking Katie, to being stuck in the boys' locker room on the last day of school during a tornado warning. But once again, we had to say goodbye and move on to the next stage, high school. Freshman year, what a terrifying time. A time when seniors would be glad to put you in your place if you were acting dumb. We went from being the top dogs at the junior high to fresh meat just across the sidewalk. But then we climbed the ladder. That one class of seniors graduated. We became sophomores, then juniors, then where we are today, seniors. We've been through quite a bit these past four years. Our freshman year was cut short. We managed to completely fail at making a class group chat. And someone pulled a fire alarm just as the bell rang. And the oddest memory of this year Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. 
The day when the seniors went out to lunch and found bagged chicken feet with their nails painted laying on the hoods of their cars. For many of us, it's still a mystery. No one would ever reveal who put them there. Natalie, Natalie and Gilly, do you know anything about that? After these 12 years together, we've become almost a second family. Sure, we've had our arguments and our rough patches, but we all have one thing in common. We made it through. We've seen each other on our best days and our worst days. We've made memories that will last a lifetime. We may leave this building today, but the good times will follow us through life. As we leave the doors of Bushnell Prairie City High School, think of it less as a goodbye, but more of a see you later. If there was one piece of advice I would leave for those in elementary, junior high, or high school, it would be this. Don't give up and enjoy every second. It's easy to wish your life away longing for the next chapter, but don't. Find joy in every situation. Whether it's good or bad, there's always something to take away from that moment. Don't grow up wishing you could travel back in time. Enjoy the simple things in life while you still can. Before I wrap this up, I would like to give a special thanks to some very important, pe very important people in my life. To begin, I want to thank my family. I would not be where I am today if it were not for you guys. You have always been there to push me to do my best. You guys have supported me every step of the way and shaped me into the person I am today. Secondly, I would like to thank all my teachers. Every single one of them has made a tremendous impact on my life. They have taught me not only educational lessons, but life lessons as well. Most importantly, I want to thank God. God has given me the strength to give my all in every situation and has brought me through life up to this point. Without him, there would be absolutely no way I could stand in front of this huge crowd and give this speech right now. I am incredibly grateful for the courage and the grace God has shown me, and I can't wait to see how he will move in my life for the years to come. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Andy Bernard. Although it's sad to see it go, no matter how much we wish we could go back to those good old days, we can't. However, instead of wishing we could build a time machine and go back to those days, let's look forward to the future. Each and every one of us has a bright future ahead of us. We all have our own hopes and dreams waiting to be fulfilled. So go. Don't waste time. Use the lessons you've learned from your time at Bushnell Prairie City High School and pursue your dreams. Don't let anyone limit your potential. You were made for more. Just because you came from a small school or a small town, don't let that define where you stay. Go chase your dreams before it's too late. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce our student council president and valedictorian, Ms. Kylie Norris. Hello faculty, students, and parents. I'm honored to able to be able to stand here before you today to give this speech. We finally made it to the day that we never thought would come. The days felt like forever, but the years went by quicker the older we got. Many of us have been counting down the days until we turned 18 or today. I remember in junior high when I had a countdown and it read seven years. I was so upset because seven years felt like an eternity at the age of 11. Now that that time has finally come and seven years have been gone, I can't believe that seven years have been faster. I look back now and cannot believe those seven years have passed us already. Over the years, we've built many friendships that will last us a lifetime. It's easy to be close with just about everyone in our grades since our class is so small. That's the best part about living in a small town. We could probably name about every student and teacher in our school. It's this closeness that we share as a class that keeps us together through tough times that we've been through, and trust me, there's been a lot. This past year has been bittersweet, but it has been my favorite year of high school, mainly because it was my last and first year of normal school. Senior year is filled with a lot of final moments. The year started with the last first day, last homecoming, last basketball game, last track meet, and finally the last day of high school. While these events come to a close, they aren't all meant to be sad. Along the way, we've made some pretty great memories, like the countless TikToks we've made in, during study hall in the library, messing with the construction workers, and my favorite of all, the band trip to Disney, which ended with Nathan fixing the bus after it broke down in the middle of the night. 
While we lost what felt like forever to COVID, we thankfully were able to come back stronger and create experiences that will last a, life, last a lifetime. I couldn't have made it through high school without the support of my friends, sibling, boyfriend, and especially my mom. They have pushed me to show up and always try my best. I wouldn't be standing here today as valedictorian and student council president if it weren't for these people. High school is just a stepping stone in life and is something that the Bushnell Prairie City class of 2023 was able to conquer together. Thank you. At this time, I would like to reintroduce Student Council President Ms. Kylie Norris for the ceremony of passing the Student Council gavel. Mr. Jake Willie, will you please come forward? Do you, Jake Willie, having been duly elected to the office in the Student Council of Bushnell Prairie City High School, accept the responsibilities and promise to perform to the best of your abilities the duties of that office? Yes. Will you endeavor to further the efforts of the Student Council and to uphold the worthy traditions and ideals of Bushnell Prairie City High School? I will. I now pass the Student Council gavel to you. As a newly elected president, I wish you luck and goodwill to serve the students of Bushnell Prairie City High School. Congratulations. Thank you. Senior band members, please take your place with the band. The band will be performing Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack highlights.
Our band is always so good. Thank you, Mr. Jones. At this time, I would like to introduce Bushnell Prairie City School Board President, Mr. John McCleary. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'd like to congratulate you on your accomplishments. I encourage you to set goals and chase after your dreams. May the bonds that you've built in these buildings never be broken. But most importantly, always remember, once a Spartan, always a Spartan. And now please welcome Dr. Kathy Dinger and Mr. John McCleary as they present the class of 2023, their diplomas. Mr. Arnold, thank you. Kayla Atkinson. Carter Alleman. Braden Barker. Peyton Bowman. Cameron Briggs. Alexandra Bruchetta. Lucas Buck. Peyton Cameron. Alexander Carr. Jaden Chenoweth. Jalen Conley. Quentin Dooley. Aaron English. Addison Ford. Maya Franconi Hernandez. <laughs> Chloe Frankhauser. Yay! 
Aaron Friday. Paco Galan Ardia. Elizabeth Gilfillan. Brock Gulledge. Avery Gulledge. Cora Gulledge. Wyatt Hodgkins. <laughs> Caitlin Hopping. <laughs> Tarek Hopping. Aaron Jackson. Azure Kinney. Janet Lentini. <laughs> Sean Link. Elliot Nixon. Ezra Mason. Peyton Mason. Gage McKelvey. <laughs> Lindsay Mickelson. <laughs> Jillian Miller. Aiden Nicholas.
Kylie Norris. Kaylee Parker. Evan Pierce. Benjamin Powell. <laughs> Leah Sargent. Skyler Shannon. <laughs> Jaitlyn Sickles. Xavier Singleton. <laughs> Natalie Slater. <laughs> Nathan Spangler. Dalton Strode. Elizabeth Souter. Xavier Swanson. Logan Taylor. And Dalton Yoakum. this time, I would ask Dr. Dinger to come back up for the conferral of graduation. Thank you. Before we move on, would you please join me in again thanking our senior class sponsors, Ms. Mackenzie Rico, 
Mr. Andrew Kleesner, Mr. James Melvin, Mr. Jake Johnson, Ms. Lauren Settles, and Mrs. Samantha Sherwood. Also, thank you to Mr. Jones and the Bushnell Prairie City High School Band for the amazing music, and thank you to Mr. Arnold for announcing. <laughs> Seated before me today is a group of young men and women who are the last I will get to confer for graduation at Bushnell Prairie City High School. Seniors, it has been my honor to watch you grow, learn, and thrive. To the Board of Education, and our school community, thank you for granting me the privilege of serving as your superintendent. These have been the best years in my life as education. Thank you. In what has become my personal tradition, I would like to take this opportunity to thank some unsung heroes in our audience. If you've been here before, you know what this is about. If you are lucky enough to still have them in your lives, you are blessed. Grandparents, could you please stand so we can recognize you and offer our appreciation? And please stay with me as we honor one more very important group before we move on to confirming our seniors. Could I please have all active duty service members and veterans please rise so that we can honor you and thank you for your service. Are we ready? Okay. Class of 2024, you have worked hard. Did I say 2024? <laughs> I'm thinking they're going to invite me back another year, but I didn't, probably not. Class of 2023, you have worked hard, played hard, and loved hard. I wish you success in achieving everything you seek as you leave Bushnell Prairie City High School. Seniors, if I could now ask all of you to stand. As the superintendent of schools and on behalf of the Bushnell Prairie City Board of Education, it is my honor and it is my final privilege to affirm that the students presented before you today have met the graduation requirements established by the Board of Education of Bushnell Prairie City Community Unit School District and the state of Illinois. They are eligible to have their graduation status conferred Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I present to you the Bushnell Prairie City High School graduating class of 2023.